in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve this problem. The problem you're seeing is that the keypad, which is this one, happens to be typing without anybody touching it. So as you can see, uh, it's now stuck by just putting the, the hyphen key all the time. And this is the key, keypad that I'm using. And as you can see, it looks fine, but it's like a key is stuck being pressed all the time. And here are some examples. If you pressed one key, it typed a string of letters. And there you can see I pressed the key and then it typed a string of letters. So there's obviously a problem with this keyboard. And now I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. Now, the first thing you want to do is inspect the keyboard to see if there is any stuck keys. What I mean by that is are any keys stuck down, for example, maybe somebody spilled some uh, food on it or some water juice or something and the key got stuck down. So I'm manually just inspecting that all the keys can depress and that none of them are stuck in the depressed position. And I can see that they are all loose. Right, so that's now done. Now the next thing I'm going to do is see if there's any food particles or any dirt that has gotten in here that is maybe, yeah, you see, I can see little bits of dirt here in between the keys. So this needs to be blown out with a hairdryer or a high pressure air blower, which I'm going to demonstrate now. And lastly, the thing you want to check is, is there any liquid damage? Liquid also does this to a keyboard. So I'm just having a look and I do see some remnants of water uh, inside there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow it out with a compressed air blower to try and solve this problem. Right, this is a air compressor. What it does is it pressurizes the air in this tank and as you can see how it now has, it's like a high pressure hose but with air. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow out any excess uh, any dust and any water or juice that's gone in here and I can really see there's some moisture there. Oh, look at that. Now if you don't have a compressed uh, air compressor you can use a hair dryer just be careful not to damage the keyboard uh, you can also leave it in the sun. Uh, again, don't let it uh, damage the keyboard. So the point of this uh, repair is I can see there is water damage here. Water's gone in here. It's obviously shorting out many keys. And that is why when you press one character, you're getting a string of characters because it works on little voltage uh, level. Key. So what happens is T is a unique level. Y is a unique voltage level. U is a unique voltage level. So if there's water here, you will find that it's changing the resistance of the um, little um, carbon pad underneath. So it is thinking that there are many keys being pressed at the same time. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dry it out so that it no longer picks up several keys being pressed at the same time. Now it's a good idea to hold this upside down and blow it while it's upside down because we're using gravity to let the uh, water come out and also all the little particles that are stuck there. So this is how you'll do it. You'll hold it like that and you'll blow it in this upside down manner. And I don't know if you can see, there are some droplets. I mean, this is water that's come right out of this keyboard. So there you can see by holding it upside down, uh, some of these particles and water droplets have come out there. I can see all little bits of food and stuff. So the people who are using this keyboard, i.e. my children, were really having a field day. Right, now in most cases, the blowing it out would have solved the problem. But if you find, in your case, you plug it in and it's still not working, it's time to open up the unit. And I can see that there is still some residue here. And I'm now going to unscrew all these myriad of the screws. So you've got to open here first, there we go, and you can see there are additional screws here 
which you have to loosen. Two screws there on the front. Right, now to get this uh, front cover off, you're gonna find that it still feels like it's stuck and that's because under the space bar, there are two screws. So you just need to lift the space bar. There we go. And there are two screws here, quite small. Right, here are the two screws. Okay, there they are, one, two. Right, now you're good to go. You can totally pull off this cover. There you see it coming off. And now I can see all the damage that is all the dirt and grime that is on this keyboard. Right, and just having a look at the other side, you can see what I'm talking about by food and grime getting in here. So this is completely dry, but the problem is, is that the food so I'm going to spray this one. I'm going to blow this out one more and I'm going to blow this here. Now, when you're blowing this out, just be careful because you don't want parts to go flying. So I'm just going to blow it gently, as you can see. You can see the moisture underneath here. You can see there's the moisture. See there? And that's what's causing the problem. Can you see that? So now I can see that it's dry and I can reassemble this keyboard. Now what you're doing is you're just aligning these little holes. You can see there's little holes and there's little rubber, uh, the, there's little holes and you can see the little uh, plastic pins that must come through. There we go. I'm just seating this all fine and now this side right now obviously you could use a hairdryer which would be pretty effective or you could leave it in the sun but if you're in a rush like me and you want to just uh, uh, get working immediately well then you'll have to blow out the the water right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug it in and test to see if it is fixed right now i have the keyboard here and i'm just going to test it and now i'm going to press the characters and as you can see one by one uh, it seems to be working as you can see there right so now it is time to put it back together <laughs> 